BriefCam video synopsis. BriefCam provides a summary of a day of video footage in a video clip as short as a few minutes in length. With BriefCam, no video is left unwatched, no event is left unexposed. So how does video synopsis technology work? With BriefCam you can define a start time and an end time allowing you to create a video summary. If you look here on this parking lot, highlighted in blue, we've created a video synopsis. We've indexed 43 events. The length of video summary is 54 seconds long. Let's take a look. This is a video synopsis. Notice here I can select an object. Every object in our video summary is indexed back to the original video. So by selecting an object with my mouse, I can double click on it. In the right hand screen here, you'll see the index video. This basically ties back to your DVR or MVR and pulls up the original video to take further analysis. Notice again, I'll play it. Now notice that there's no other objects in this summary here. Okay, we'll see multiple people. I can select this person here, again, and they're isolated. And the reason is with BriefCam video synopsis technology, we extract moving objects from the original video and overlay those objects onto a time-lapse background. Essentially, we're cheating time. If you pinpoint this again and take a look at this person, you'll notice there's a time up here. It says 10, 10, and 16 seconds. That tells you when the original person walked through the video. BriefCam allows you actually to assign a timestamp for every object. So if you notice here, I've actually clicked on this little icon at the bottom here. It's a clock. Now, every object in the video summary has a time. Let's pause this for a second and take a look. This person over here has a timestamp of 10.02. This car or person over here is 10.11. This car is 1013. So what you're seeing is multiple objects in a video summary that have different times. What that means is we are essentially overlaying objects from different times onto a time-lapse background. Essentially, we're cheating time. This gives you a quick representation of all the objects when they originally recorded. Okay, Let's take a look. Let's look at this person right here, 1022. You'll see the isolated video on the right. I'm going to click on them. Notice that there are no other objects there. The time on the video uh, index file is 10, 22, and 33 seconds. Okay. Again, let's look at someone else. This person right here. Again, they're isolated. Ten is, time is 10, 22, and 7 seconds. I'm going to turn that icon off and do some other things. I have the ability to increase the speed of play. So now everything's very rapid. I can slow that down. Control the left hand side. Let's take it to a semi slow speed. Now everything's much slower. I have the ability to do some other things where I can increase the density down here so you'll see more objects now. Let's take it to the highest level. And now you're seeing a lot of overlay objects onto a time lapse background. If you want to pick an object, again, let's select it and we'll see the index video. There's a white SUV. The gentleman over here walking across the parking lot. Okay. You can also decrease the density. So I'll start this over and give you a comparison. Now you'll see one or two objects in the, in the video playback. Okay. Again, increase the density or crowdedness. We're seeing a lot of objects overlays. These two controls, the speed of play and the crowd density, allow you to increase the speed of the video playback and see more things in a rapid fashion, or slow it down. Let's slow it down and reduce the density or let's
take it back to a medium speed. Now, let's do something else. Let's select an object. I'm going to take my mouse, using my track wheel, I can click on an object. I can freeze an entire background. Now with my mouse, I will move that object frame by frame, back and forth, while everything else is frozen. I'm going to move him out of the picture now. I can also take another object, this car, and move it out. So now again, notice, I'm moving this object frame by frame while everything else is frozen. This is a great forensic tool.